بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر آل اسٹوڈینٹس اینڈ ویور دس از ذاکر اللہ لیکچر میڈیکل لیبارٹری ٹیکنالوجی ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دا نیکسٹ اسٹیپ آف ٹیشو پروسیسنگ ان دا ہسٹو پیتھالوجی لیبارٹری دیٹ از دا ایمبیڈنگ آف دا ٹیشو ان دا پیرافین ویکس ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دا ایمس اینڈ دا آبجیکٹیوز آف دا ایمبیڈنگ What are the different medias which are used for the embedding purposes of the biopsy tissues? The different types of molds which are used in the embedding process and how this embedding is performed, what is the technique, what is the process and the last step is the tissue tech system which is used for the process of embedding in histopathology laboratory. So coming to the embedding tissue. It is the process in which tissue is surrounded by a molten medium, usually the paraffin wax, by using a mold. After this, the medium is solidified and a block is uh, formed. This block, in the, uh, this block is then forwarded in the microtome section for cutting thin sections of the tissue. The aims of uh, embedding what is the aim what is the objective what is the purpose of embedding it is to give support to the tissue as the tissue are very delicate and very small so embedding media it supports the tissue in the processing the second objective of the embedding is to prevent the distortion and damaging of the tissue during the cutting process by microtome as the microtome take a very minute and very slight uh, portions from the tissue so during that process the tissue may become distorted to prevent the distortion and to prevent the disturbance embedding is performed the third purpose of the embedding process is to preserve the tissue for archival use in case we need a tissue for a long period of time so it is stored and embed in the wax to use this tissue and to examine this tissue and to store this tissue for a long time selection of embedding medium different mediums are used for the embedding purpose for example paraffin wax epoxy resin methylate carbo wax these are the different medias which are used for the embedding of the tissue in the histopathology laboratory the most commonly used embedding medium is the paraffin wax and the choice of embedding medium it depends on different factors one of them is uh, the type of tissue because the density of the tissue and the embedding medium there should be no difference in the density of the medium and the density of the tissue Be, because the tissue may not be sectioned properly and tissue will be deformed the type of microtome used either it is manual either it is automated and the size of the sectioning so it depends on this the third is the type of microscopy either it is a light microscopy or it is uh, done or it is embedded for the electron microscope the different embedding medium one of them is the paraffin wax uh, which is uh, basically a hydrocarbon and uh, paraffin wax is a solid poly uh, crystalline hydrocarbon it is uh, sold in the market with different melting point as uh, we learned in the previous lectures of uh, tissue processing that paraffin wax have melting point ranging from 39 degree centigrade up to 60 degree centigrade so the different types of uh, the melting point of paraffin wax it varies in the different regions it is uh, cheaper as compared to other embedding medias and very easy to use supervision is required during blocking with the paraffin wax so this is a slight limitation of the paraffin wax the second embedding media which is used is epoxy resin and mostly it is used for the electron microscopy 
because it provides a very good resolution of the tissue and it preserves and it shows a very good details of the tissue. The third embedding medium is the acrylic medium. The methacrylate monomer it is miscible with the uh, it is soluble with the ethanol. In the presence of catalyst 2% benzoyl peroxide, this uh, methacrylate it is uh, polymerized and it provides a hard and a clear uh, surface of the block. Another embedding medium which is agar gel or agarose gel. Agar gel helps in the cohesion of the friable or the minute and fragmented tissue which, is, which can be easily breakable. So in uh, cytology sample or in dimitri collateral or small biopsies this agar gel is used for embedding purpose of the tissues. This gel do not provide a good support to the tissue during the sectioning of the tissue. So alone not used because it does not provide good support to the tissue during the section cutting. So agar is mixed with paraffin and this makes a double embedding medium which is more suitable than agar. Gelatin is also used as embedding medium and it is used for a very small and a very delicate tissues and for a frozen section which contain delicate and breakable tissue or necrotic tissue. The melting point of gelatin it varies is it the melting point of gelatin ranges from 35 degree centigrade up to 40 degree centigrade. Due to this uh, low melting point, uh, embedding uh, is uh, not usually performed in gelatin. As this uh, melting point make it uh, make it unsuitable for this purpose. Celadin is uh, another embedding medium. Celadin is a nitrocellulose, and uh, celadin is used for the embedding of uh, those tissues which are hard in nature, and uh, usually it is not used in the laboratory. The different types of molds which is used for blocking of the tissue. The stainless steel mold it is uh, made from a stainless steel. The base of uh, this mold is uh, flat and it is well polished. So when a liquid paraffin uh, is uh, removed from this it does not create any distortion and disturbance and the paraffin have even surface. And mold can be covered by a plastic ring. Another type of mold that is made up of plastic, and another, another type of mold it is made up of uh, uh, plastic, and this plastic is a chemical resistant plastic. This is the stainless steel mold, and these are of different uh, types. These are the medium size, uh, one, another size is larger than this, and some for smaller tissue a small size mold is used this is a plastic cassette mold the leucard embedding mold these are the types of molds which have two arm one arm of the l is longer than the other one this is one arm the l shaped and this is another the two L-shaped arms are adjusted, uh, adjusted to make convenient size for a block. Before adjustment, a lubricant, usually glycerin, is applied on the arms because after a block formation, this plate they can be easily removed with the help of this lubricant and does not create any problem in the removal from the tissues. The molten wax it is poured in the space between the two L arms like we can see in this image and then the tissue is placed here in uh, between the two plates. These plates are then cooled and the block with tissue in one surface is removed with the help of microtome. The tissue tech embedding system usually 
uh, the embedding process it is same for all types of the media and the embedding process it requires uh, the three things the major things are the paraffin molten paraffin wax as we know this media is uh, very commonly used in the histopathology laboratory a mold with its cover and a metal plate which is cold to work because the hot paraffin wax when the tissue is embedded in this wax so a cold plate is required for this purpose all these three all these three requirements of tissue processing it is provided by a commercially available system called the tissue tech system and these are the different components of the tissue tech system this is the hot plate uh, and this is the wax dispenser beside the wax dispenser there is a forceps warmer and this forceps these are placed in this uh, uh, area and the tissue is uh, placed with the help of this forceps this area is the tissue warmer area and this is the cold plate so that is the requirement for the tissue embedding the different steps in the tissue tech system for the embedding of the tissues first the liquid paraffin it is kept in a constant temperature in the dispenser is slightly this temperature is slightly higher than the melting temperature the tissue is put on the lower surface of the mold with the help of forceps and for cutting purpose the surface is directed downward so when it is uh, in the next step the microtomy is performed for sectioning the molten paraffin wax is poured on the metallic mold and it is filled with the molten paraffin wax after that the mold is covered with a plastic ring and then it is labeled with a unique marker and unique id that the mold is uh, put on the cold plate so that it get solidified after solidification the metallic mold is detached from the plastic ring and the block is used and it is transferred to the next step for cutting and sectioning of the tissue these are the steps this is the tissue tech system first the tissue is taken out from the caser and if it is a minute tissue and it is placed in a filter paper so it is taken out from the fil filter paper then a mold is uh, placed under the paraffin wax uh, and slightly paraffin wax is poured into it the tissue is taken with the help of uh, forceps from the caser and then embedded in the mold inside the mold during embedding the tissue is slightly pressed with the forceps so the area it face the microtome section for cutting purpose the mold is then an extra paraffin wax is uh, added after uh, covering with the plastic ring or with the plastic cassette then it is labeled after labeling the mold these are transferred to a cold plate these are the steps of the tissue tech system no here in this animation we will learn that uh, how embedding process is performed with the tissue tech system these are the paraffin wax these are the requirements the molds the cassettes and the forceps these are the plastic molds this is tissue tech system this area is the tissue warmer here it is the paraffin uh, block where paraffin is placed and the temperature is set slightly higher than the melting temperature this is area where paraffin is poured and this is the tissue uh, rack where it is placed in the tissue warmer first the tissue is removed from the cassette and a suitable 
mold is taken for according to the size of the tissue then slightly more paraffin is poured into it into that mold the tissue is placed in the mold with the help of uh, warm forceps and it is slightly forced downward so it makes it easy for the cutting purpose in the microtome section the cover of the plastic cassette it is uh, placed on uh, above it and an extra wax is poured on it after that it is transferred to this cold plate where it is uh, placed for solidification when the block becomes solidified the steel mold is removed and if there is extra wax on the side of this plastic cover so that wax is removed and then placed in the rack for the next step that was all for the process of uh, uh, embedding the aim of embedding what are the different embedding medias and the steps in the tissue tech system for embedding process hope you have learned much more about it till next lecture allah hafiz